Hello guys, welcome to the Advanced session of the ASP.NET Web API 2. In this session, we will learn about the parameter binding. The default behavior of the ASP.NET Web API is that it will retrieve the simple type value from the URI, and for the complex type, it will try to read the value from the message body by using the media type formatter. If you want to override the default behavior and the force Web API to read the complex type from the URI, then we need to use the from URI attribute along with the our parameter. And if you want to force the Web API to read the simple type from the body, then we need to use the from body attribute to the our parameter. Let's switch to Visual Studio to Let's understand this with the example. First of all, we need to comment all the configuration that we are setting up in the our previous session. And open the controller that we are created. You can see that we are using the from body attribute in the our post as well as the put method where we are retrieving the complex type value. However, it was optional. Let's see it. I am going to delete this attribute and build the our solution. Let's switch to Postman app. Select the post request body, and I'm going to paste the JSON structure for the our uh, product class, and change the pencil into the uh, ink, and click on the send. You can see that it written the uh, 201 status means that our product was created successfully. However, we are not specifying the uh, from body attribute here. Because of ASP.NET Web API automatically try to retrieve the value of the complex type from the message body. Let's modify the our put method such that it will retrieve the simple type that is integer from the body and the product that is a complex type. For this, we need to use the from body attribute along with the integer type and the from URI. For the uh, our product and build the our solution. Let's switch to Postman app. In the uh, previous example, we are added the uh, ink to the our database, which ID is uh, 10. Now we are going to update the its name ink to the uh, blue ink. For this, we need to use the ID that is a uh, 10. Select the put method, write the ID 10, and modify the our data blue ink, and click on the send. You can see that it written the 400 bad request, and with the method that the parameter contain the null entry for the ID. Because of we are specify that the our ID will be present in the body and the complex type that is a product will be present in the URI. That's why ASP.NET Web API will try to read the ID from the body, and it it was unable. That's that's why it generated the 400 status. Let's modify the our request. Write the question mark for using the query string. Name equal to blue ink. Ampersand quantity equal to 20 ampersand box size equal to 10 ampersand price equal to 12 and within body we just need to write the id that is a 10 and i'm going to send it you can see that it written the 200 status and our new object contain the name blue ink Let's see in the our database. Here it is. It also updated in the database. For retrieving the complex type from the URI, we need to use the from URI attribute, and for retrieving the simple type from the body, we need to use the from body attribute. Here is the our example in which we are retrieving the complex type 
that is a product from the uh, URI and the integer that is the uh, symbol type from the uh, body. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.